This is what Kega 9 received from the district on the fifth complaint about the Sabino High School baseball program. And you can see every page, every line, every word is blacked out, redacted. During a prior media briefing, Superintendent Gabriel Trujillo had listed only four allegations with the findings, not the fifth. So where is that allegation? Why wasn't that on the list? I will not be discussing allegation number five because it involves student-specific information. So yes, there was a fifth allegation. I will only acknowledge that that fifth allegation did involve an allegation of bullying. I will not be discussing whether or not it was sustained or substantiated, nor the identity of the family or the student involved. So Trujillo wouldn't release the fifth allegation, not even whether it was true because of student privacy rights. But the district already released student information regarding the other claims. Weeks later, we obtained the same report from another source that the district redacted and cited it met student privacy rights. This one contains nearly all the information regarding the fifth allegation, the claims and findings spelled out in detail in six pages. It reveals the district investigators found the parents' allegations of bullying to be true, sustained. The claim centers on a disparaging term, retard. The parents state their son is diagnosed with ADHD and hyperactivity, and the coaching staff repeatedly referred to him as retard. The player reported what started off as a joke turned into a personal attack for nearly two years. One volunteer assistant coach, Garrett Gabusi, told the district he repeatedly called the player retard and didn't believe it was detrimental. He stated it was a term of endearment, used as a motivational tool, and the player would embrace it. The document states, Gabusi used the slur so often that the head coach, Mark Chandler, referred to the slur as the player's nickname. Chandler told the investigators he felt the player relished being called a retard, even though he personally found the term offensive. Chandler stated he does not believe the term retard is as serious as a racial slur. The parent reported the verbal harassment continued and caused his son to become demoralized and depressed. His son told the district he was scared to talk to any of the coaches, afraid that they would ridicule or further target him. The name calling became so bad in his eyes that he began to contemplate suicide. Texts show the parent informed the school's athletic director that he took his son to a mental health facility for counseling. He wrote, apparently Coach Gabusi has been calling him a retard in the dugout and Chandler is allowing it. The findings reveal, Gabusi said to the head coach, hey Chandler, do we get federal funding for having special needs on the team? The district found the parents' claims to be true. The investigators not only determined Gabusi's actions violated district policy, Chandler never documented the violation by the assistant coach or administered discipline, and the vice principal failed to follow up on the outcome.